Hey, Cringe here from Sticky Trigger with a mate of mine, Steven. G'day. From uh, Blitz Media over at UNSW, and we had the opportunity to check out Resident Evil 7, yeah, one of the demos on uh, PlayStation VR. With the goggles. What was it like in terms of the, the clarity of the image, the smoothness, like did you get motion sickness, and how comfy was it? It was actually pretty comfy. Kind of felt like a, just a normal hat, if anything. Yeah. Didn't get motion sickness at all. You're not particularly inclined to get motion sickness. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm not I'm not really motion sick in general, but it did feel ex extra smooth. The screen was super clear. There was just a bit of blur, but not that much. The demo that we actually played was the Lantern demo from Tokyo Game Show that was earlier uh, last month. Last month, now it's October. Um, so they've actually just brought that demo, Capcom have brought that demo to EB Expo, one of the first events after the TGS, to have it shown off. The environment that we were in was the plantation house, which might possibly ring a bell with players of Resident Evil 7. I actually, well, players of Resident Evil, I guess. But it was the Baker family uh, house that we were in, the plantation house, and it's the scene that actually, or it's the scenario, that opens uh, the full Resident Evil 7 game. Before we got uh, into the, the meat of the game, we got thrown into a tutorial, and yeah. it was kind of an kind of an interesting experience in terms of yeah. the controls because we weren't able to change them. That's true. Um, you're given the uh, sort of a way to rotate around the world um, yeah, if without you turning your head. Yeah, if you can't move your head uh, in the direction that you want to go, you can move the right stick, and it'll put you in that direction in 30 degree. The 30 degree increment, so it'll, yeah. it'll move you like that. Was that a little bit weird to, to try and do it first? Look, at first it was slightly clun clunky. Especially especially when I wanted to move around and do it at the same time. But I kind of got away from myself and I just started moving myself around the chair. So it did feel clunky later on, yeah. it eased up, but at first it was a bit hard. I feel like it might even be easier to play on a stool, so if you could rotate all yeah, the way around. Yeah, absolutely. we had a, 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 like a chair with a back on it, so yeah. it's like, that doesn't work. If I could have a bar stool that rotates, perfect VR scenario. If you've got one of them, man, VR is just, it's <laughs> yeah. for you. So as soon as we uh, finish the tutorial area, you're kind of sent into a sort of chase scene. You're not actually in yeah. control of the chase scene, I think we were to start with, but after a while, you're chased to the entrance of the house where you go yeah. to a bridge section and you're You move into... forward yourself yeah. through the chase, you get to a door and it becomes a hide and seek scenario. Yeah, more or less. So you're getting chased by Marguerite Baker? Margarita! Margar Ms. Baker. Ms. Baker. And she's chasing you through and so you really have to use the environment yeah. to hide and, and move around, uh, try and get away from her. Eventually, uh, in that demo, she does get you, and yes. it, it's got you. <laughs> I, uh, I failed the demo a few times, because you, you're you supposed to hide behind boxes at certain points. I just kind of walked into her a few times. I thought, <laughs> I'll give her a hug, and I did that twice. Yeah, you did. And you guys actually walked me through it. Still, even then, I had a few troubles. I'm not very good. But at the end of the, the, the scripted sequence, she is... Mm -hmm. It's scripted that she's meant to get you. Yes. And after that, you're thrown into the second scenario, more or less, the second situation where you, you have are no control. You have very little control. Mm -hmm. You can more or less just like move. look around. Yeah, you can look around, and you're strapped into this chair at a family dinner, more or less. A very strange family dinner at that. You've got Ms. Baker, what I could only assume to be Mr. Baker and Master Baker. Master Baker. <laughs> Master Baker. Master Baker. <laughs> In that scene, you are just kind of stuck there, and a yeah. lot of what's going on is in your face. It's like very oh, yeah. early 3D movies where you have stuff thrown oh, at you. Oh yeah, if you go back and watch movies like Spy Kids 3 or Shark Boy, Love, Shark Boy and Lava Girl, to... if it's in, like, how they throw it in your face, that's what was happening to me. Uh, I had a lot of uncomfortable things kind of just happening to me, to the point where I, I was really feeling it. Yeah, and that scene ends with the father trying to feed you food, and that doesn't work. So he kind of kind of picks up a knife. Yep. And that hit you a little hard? Oh god, I I felt that. I it, it it's as if he's coming to try and stab you in the mouth, I think. And oh, if the screen didn't cut black just then, I, I probably would have just passed out. Yeah, cried. So in terms of what we've seen from Resident Evil and with PlayStation VR uh, from Capcom, I guess, at this event, that was the Lantern demo, it was from TGS. Resident Evil 7 is going to be coming out in full force uh, on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on January the 24th. In terms of VR support, we know the game is coming to PlayStation VR in full force. We don't know of any support for virtual reality on PC and Xbox One yet. Mm -hmm. That news may be coming, it might not be. Haven't heard about any of that at EB Expo here. For more games, pop culture, and technology updates, be sure to stay tuned to StickyTrigger.com, the website, and subscribe at our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash StickyTrigger. Stephen, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Uh, that's all from us for now at EB Expo 2016. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.